Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Nikkei Goddess of Victory video. Alright, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to make a tier list, show it to you guys uh, what my thoughts are regarding the priority to overload your pilgrim characters. Alright, let's talk about this. So if you guys are not aware, how do you obtain overload gears is ideally you got to obtain manufacturer gears. And the best way to obtain them is by going to the interception, alright? If you are still new, you are still stuck at either the level S or the level D, you won't be able to obtain that yet. You need to be able to beat any of the interception EX and therefore this is where you're going to get your overload gears, alright? You can basically check based upon the rewards, right? Now it needs to be the tier 9 manufacturer gear. So tier 4, you can see you don't ever obtain any. Stage 5, you obtain some but these are not manufacturer gears. Uh, stage 6, you don't obtain manufacturer gears, you only obtain tier 9 gears. Alright, it needs to be tier 7 onwards, you can see when I click on this, now you can obtain the manufacturer gears. You see this with a question mark, these are the ones that are manufacturer gears. Now, manufacturer gear is divided into many different ones, alright? So obviously you have four, you have the headpiece, you have the gloves, you have the boots, right? You have one for each category as well. So one for attacker, one for defender, one for supporter, and each category will be divided into different manufacturers, right? You are looking, we are talking about Pilgrim gears in specific here. Sometimes you might obtain Elysian gears. Sometimes you might obtain Abnormal gears. Sometimes you might obtain Tetra gears. Sometimes you might obtain uh, Missilis gears. So plenty of RNG uh, goes into this when you're trying to obtain these particular gears, right? So once you level 5 any of the manufacturer gear, you will have the ability to overload them. And by overloading them, they go back to level 1 and you can level them up again to level 5. It's going to cost a lot. However, you do get 3 slots with additional stats. For example, this is one uh, that you can see right now. It has charge damage, it has elemental damage dealt, and it has attack percent. So it, it's going to be a little bit of RNG. So that's where you can basically use these particular stones, the custom module, to basically change up the stats if you want to, right? So these are the probability info that you can check right here. If you overload a gear, it's locked to that character. So for example, this is my Modernia's overload gear. So you can see I have this particular one with overload gears here, this particular one with overload gears here. And guess what? I cannot unequip the gears. You can never unequip a gears once you have overloaded the gears. Which means it's going to be very important for you to think carefully which one you want to prioritize on. So some people, they prioritize it on a Mononia. Some players, they prioritize it on a Scarlet. But recently, we have Red Hood in the equation. So obviously, Red Hood is going to be a lot of players' priority. So let's talk about this. Let's make a tier list in which overload gears for Pilgrim that you want to prioritize on. And then I'm going to give you guys my thoughts along the way. Now, I'm going to divide this into multiple different uh, separate tiers. Alright, obviously the first one is going to be Urgent. Second one will be Can Wait. And the third one will be Lul. Because it doesn't matter. You're not going to... You know, that's not going to be a priority. That's going to be the least priority. I'm going to delete this particular row. And then let's talk about this. So obviously right now, it makes a lot of sense that if you have Red Hood, she should be your priority. Red Hood with Overload Gears is going to be the most important by far. Alright, so Red Hood should be the priority. If you have to choose, it's going to be Red Hood first. Because once you overload Gears, like I mentioned, once you overload them, you cannot unequip them anymore. So you want to put it on your strongest character. So I do think that Red Hood is going to be the priority for a lot of players. Now, who should be the second one? Now, it's either going to be Scarlet or Modernia. Now, these both are going to, all three of these are going to use the same one which is the attacker gears and ideally they are going to fight for the headpiece, the, the boots, right, the armor piece, all of them are going to be fighting uh, in particular. I'm going to lean towards Scarlet. Now hear me out, a lot of people are going to say why not Modernia? Why Scarlet? Now Scarlet is superior than Modernia in PvP. Now PvP is something that you may or may not care about, which totally fine. If you only care about PvE, uh, Modernia might be a little bit better depending on how it goes but in terms of balance like in terms of PvE and PvP combined together I do think that Scarlet takes the priority in my humble opinion. Again, this is just my opinion but whether you like it or not Scarlet is going to carry you a lot in PvP and the value of PvP is going to be very distinct especially PvP is a very CP heavy uh, scenario right where if your combat power is higher than your enemy you just have the advantage generally. Now the only character that can count counter Scarlet in general in PvP is going to be Noah, right? But uh, I still think that if you are fighting enemies without Noah, uh, Scarlet is going to be right there 
uh, alongside with Red Hood, right? I still think Red Hood should be the priority in general, right? So Red Hood followed by Scarlet and followed by Modernia. So this makes a lot of sense. Uh, ideally in this particular order, that's just how I'm going to rank them. Uh, obviously, Scarlet Modernia very, very close depending on whether you care for PvP or not. But you won't go wrong with either uh, these two, if I can put them neck in neck for sure. But because uh, PvP is a thing in the game and you do get a lot of gems from PvP, whether you like it or not, I am going to place uh, or prioritize Scarlet over Modernia. Now next up, this is going to be a bit complicated. It's going to be either Snow White or Heron, right? But ever since, um, you know, ever since Red Hood is, has been released and Scarlet and Modernia, they do exist, I would say Heron has fallen off to this category right now. Alright, so I do think that the regular Snow White, alright, this is the regular one, I do think that she is, should be your priority as well because she's really, really strong and she's actually... In a lot of cases, she's probably going to be more important than these two, depending on what kind of boss that she can tackle. But flexibility in the story stage uh, and in the PvP is a bit lacking right there. So I'm going to put her right here. Uh, this is something that you want to take into consideration as well. Uh, while I do think that Snow White is going to be superior versus bosses, however, in general cases, Scarlet Modernia, Red Hood is still going to triumph uh, upon her, right? So that's just what I think generally. Now next up, this is going to be a little bit complicated. So we have Heron. I'm going to place Noah somewhere here as well, right? So this is going to be these two Pilgrim. Now Noah doesn't really compete with all of these other characters. So I can straight up just put her right here because she is a defender. So Noah is going to use a Pilgrim defender piece. And as somebody that, you know, I do use her a lot in PvP, but outside of PvP, I would... I almost never use her. Sure, she can cheat some situations, but you can see I have a fully completed uh, Noah with full max overload, all four slots. Now, for Noah specifically, I do think that she is going to... It's going to depend, right? Uh, getting overload gears is super expensive. You need a ton of credits, lots of money. All right, so she shouldn't be a priority. And since this is a priority list of who you want to uh, overload first, uh, I'm going to put her like somewhere here. Uh, it's going to make sense, right? If you have limited resources, it's going to go in this order. Yes, uh, I don't think she competes with all the other characters for the same amount, same type of gear because she's a defender, right? But still, if you have limited resources, she shouldn't be a priority. So I'm going to place her somewhere here. Uh, this makes a lot of sense. As for Heron, if you have Red Hood, Scarlet, Modernia, um, there's a very high chance that she shouldn't be your top priority unless you have lots of spare. Uh, Pilgrim attacker gears, right? So because she's going to share the same ones as those others. Now, I'm going to place Snow White Innocent Day somewhere here as well. And Heron, she is still capable or is still a very strong character overall. If you are if you are lacking in terms of Scarlet or Red Hood, she is still going to be very strong in PvP. Whereas uh, Snow White Innocent Days, she doesn't shine in PvP as much, but she shines against uh, certain bosses with, with lots of minions and in story mode. So she's going to be niche in that stage, in that place. Although there's a chance that you're going to get her for free, uh, that's a thing to consider, right? If you have a Snow White max limit break for free and you don't have Heron, obviously uh, she should be a priority. But for most cases, it depends on whether you're a new player or you're an old player. There's a chance that somebody might have a limit break 3 Heron laying somewhere around as well. Now, for the last one, the least priority is going to be Nihilista. Sadly, she's just not... She's good, alright, if you need a burst 2 character for sure, but I don't think she should be a priority to get overload gears, alright? Nihilista is just... She's not going to do much damage, so I do think that it's a waste. And the problem is also she is going to use the attacker piece. So as you can see, uh, I do have all of these just uh, random gears laying around for now, but hey, I don't think she should be the priority as well. Oh wait, I'm forgetting someone else very, very important. Dorothy. Now, Dorothy is going to be... I would say she... Oh, I, how did I completely forgot about her? So she should be right here. I'm going to place her right here uh, in terms of priority. Now she can be right here, of course. Uh, uh, same, same with uh, Red Hood because Dorothy actually is a supporter, but she does a lot of damage. So that's something that you guys got to keep in mind. Uh, Dorothy is a very unique case. Uh, she's a supporter that does a lot of damage. So she's going to use a different... A piece all together, right? So 
Uh, ideally, she doesn't compete with all the other attackers in terms of the, the overload pieces, ideally. So I'm going to place Dorothy somewhere here. Uh, in between uh, Molonia and Snow White, I think that makes the most sense. And then uh, Isabel, Rapunzel, I'm going to place them here. Rapunzel doesn't really compete with the rest as well, except for Dorothy because she's a supporter. But Rapunzel is mostly a healer, increasing her, her gears and giving her overload uh, stats, additional stats, is probably not going to benefit much. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much my Overlord Pilgrim priority list. If you guys are looking into uh, which character should you overload your gears first, I'm going to go with this order. Starting with Red Hood, ST priority followed by Scarlet Modonia, and then Dorothy slightly after, and the regular Snow White. Noah can be next because she's very very strong and potent in PvP. Uh, Heron and the Snow White Innocent Days is going to be in the middle. This can wait. And Rapunzel, Nihilista, and Isabel should be the last priority. So that is pretty much it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree? At the end of the day, you know, this is going to be more of an opinion. Obviously, tier list is just going to showcase uh, which one you want to prioritize first. Uh, I do think that this is going to be something that, uh, you know, you gotta take very important context into. This is going to be which pilgrims that you want to have overload gears first all right since uh, our resources are limited especially if you're free to play uh, that's going to be something that you have to consider not everyone just have you know all of these pilgrim uh, pieces drop on them so this is something that you're gonna slowly farm all right so be patient you know it's gonna take a long while it took me at least months before i get all of these uh, pilgrim hate pieces and yeah i have gotten so far uh, a couple a number of them for sure uh, most likely you're gonna have like the tet Tetra, Missy Lee's or Elysian's one first. But hey, let me know what you guys think of your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, subscribe if you guys haven't already. Give this video a like and I'll see you guys very very soon. Have a nice day. Goodbye. <laughs>